What up, Optic Nation? Big Optic Hex here, and uh, today I have an interview, believe it or not. I'm going to do the Ron Burgundy commentating, and uh, I'm going to ask a couple of questions to my boy, uh, Optic Nerve, who's the leader of the of the uh, competitive division. I just watched the uh, the Frat Cup tournament and the dual commentary that Hutch and, and Sark did, and uh, before we get onto this conversation, I just want to say that you know, Machinima is, is, is an awesome company. Uh, you know, everybody there is cool as fuck. Hutch, obviously, used to be our teammate, and he's literally, like, one of my bestest friends on on fucking, uh, on live. And I'm not saying that just to say it. He's literally a fucking sound dude. So, having said that, uh, let's talk about the Frag Cup. So, Nerv, first of all, man, you know, I, I want to congratulate you. Congratulate you on, the, uh, <laughs> on how far you made... Uh, you made it into the frat cup. We unfortunately had a, a little mishap uh, because you and I talked about it, and we always said that it was that you guys were going to be the ones to take us out on that on that ladder because that's that's it. that's what would have happened because you guys beat the guys that you needed to beat in order to play the guys that won from our match, and we won our match. So you, you know, eventually it would have been optic versus optic, and we always talked about you guys taking us out because obviously that that would have been the case. It would have been a close one. Though. It would have been a good match, man. You know, we we <laughs> we ran some scrims and stuff like that, and you know, it was it was all friendly sport. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, it, it was it was very interesting. Like, uh, I would have loved it personally. Yeah, I, would, I I thought it was good. You know, especially because of how good you guys play. And obviously, you know, I've known you since Call of Duty 2, and we've played you know throughout <laughs> the years. And same with Diesel. So it would have been it would have been uh, back to the good old days. But uh. You know, let me ask you. Let me ask you how um, how, how did you feel the frag cup uh, went on the on the frag nation bracket? Um, we were we were kind of disappointed that uh, one of our matches was a no show. Um, but overall, we felt as far as our team's performance, we did excellent. Um, it went from TDM to domination, and uh, we were, I guess, the most excited team about that because uh, we're not a TDM you know competitive team. But uh, overall, all of our matches we won pretty soundly. Uh, yeah. You know, we we I think the most points that we gave up in the Frag Nation bracket was 101 points, and that was actually to uh, Bullets team. So uh, you know, overall, He's, yeah, Bullets. I see a bullet. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. No, I'm, you know, I, I too, I'm glad that uh, that it went to domination <laughs> because you know, like we Optic has always been a run and gun team, so I was excited about that. Um, now I'm gonna ask you, you know, since we have we're short on time, I'm gonna ask you straight up. E2K versus Optic was considered like literally to be like the most exciting match. I mean, they even mentioned that it was the most exciting match to watch. And uh, in retrospect, now that you've seen the other team's point of view, uh, like, what? How do you feel about that? Um, two feelings. Um, first off, um, <laughs> we knew that it was going on during the match. Okay. Uh, yeah. But. Uh, I so why, did, as, why, why didn't you change your strategy? Like, why didn't you? Because um, our competitive team, you can call us cocky, you can call us whatever we want. But uh, you made a statement, and uh, I've kind of always done that in the past. Is you know, I'd rather lose by losing to campers than win by camping myself. You know, right? Um, and lose that's... by Russian than win by camping. Yeah, and that's that's just it. You know, I yeah, mean, it's, look, it's, at... it's a good motto to have. You know, obviously we're we're in the video making business, but you know now you you you're giving Optic a brand new face. Well, you know you you're bringing it back to its roots, which is the competitive scene, and you know that's 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 always awesome. I'm very excited about that. Uh, but you know personally, man, I think it it was is gay as fuck. I mean, shot for shot, the video shows that you guys were literally you know taking it to them. Uh, but it was when they when they took the when they took the flag and then they got into the and I'm gonna tell you this, bro. Um, in my opinion, okay, uh, domination with uh, Nate spots is all sound and cool with me because in the good old Call of Duty two days, you remember we used to play. Oh yeah, uh, HQ headquarters, and it was all Nate spots. But but it wasn't a a faggot game. And Infinity Ward, you fucked up. You should keep everything as it was in Call of Duty two. I mean, even even now on the on the, on the pro mod circuit in in fucking in PC. You fucked it up so bad that the PC circuit had to 
remodel your fucking game and make it to where it's as closely as possible to it was in Call of Duty 2. Because essentially the best game ever, you know, for from Infinity War was Call of Duty 2. For skill uh, skill to skill. You know what I'm saying? No, absolutely. I mean, 90% of the, the pros out there from Call of Duty 4 were pros in Call of Duty 2. So, all right. So let, 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 let's move on. Let's not, let's not yeah. talk about it. I, I, again, I, again, when I saw the video, I was I, I was a little bit mad because, you know, E2K, as they mentioned, it's a well-established team. But, you know, if, if <laughs> it, they left it up to the fans or they left it up, they, they left it open to say whether or not they are a better run and gun team than you guys are. Because obviously they were using it, it's a good strategy, you know, five thousand dollars on the line. Again. Yeah, without a doubt. Don't get me wrong. All right, um, E2K beat us. You know what I'm saying? But we feel that, uh, like, if it was a run and gun match, I felt that our team at that night would have won. Um, but it it wasn't, and we didn't adjust to it. And um, I will tell you this right now: if that match was to happen a hundred times from here to, you know, whatever, it's not going to change. We're going to play the way that we played. And uh, the outcome could be the same. But yeah. if you was to take one man army out and stuff like that, then then it changes the whole entire aspect of the uh, outcome of that match. And overall, yeah. it's just, you know, I tip my hats to them. I really do because they're moving on. They beat us. There's no and, questions about and it. You mentioned that, that they contacted you afterwards, right? And, and what did they say to you? They, <laughs> they said that if they knew that we were going to run and gun, then they would have ran and gun. But um, they said that they watched our footage and that's how we played. Well... Yeah, I like to see that footage because I don't know Wait, where that so, is. So they said that they watched some of your footage of and the they said that you never, not once did you use riot shields or one man army or danger clothes. Nope. I, I, again, you know what? It, it's 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 a cash. Uh, personally, you know, I'm it, not okay, and I'm gonna say this because I'm I'm from an outsider's perspective. Uh, obviously, you know, I I am a little biased because you are you know part of my team and. You are a part of Optic, and uh, but personally, as a spectator, as a as a fan, as as an avid machinima watcher, like I, it it was it was gay. Uh, it was gay. Okay. Yeah. Well, any tournament match towards the end of the uh, tournament's going to be gay. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna form one. Anybody that's out there trying to get video footage and stuff like that, um, you know, it's going to be gay because that's when people really see the money and they see it in reach and they're going to play and do whatever they need to get that money well from our point of view we're just a little bit different you know like um optic competitive is it, it just you know there's no getting around it optic has this standard okay and um we had to live up to that standard even though we're yet yeah, it's still a new addition to optic gaming we've been here for a little bit but still new um you know, we had to live up to that standard, and we're not going to break that. We all believe in that standard, and, uh, you know, that's just how it is. All right, so I see that, that we're hitting the eight-minute mark, so let's, you know, I know that this is going to go into a uh, into a two-video part, I guess. So let's, uh, let's cut it off right here, and then, uh, guys, be sure to click the link that's right there, and you'll see part two of this interview. Peace. Later, guys.